Hi everybody, it's your girl Ajike and you're welcome to my channel. So, today I'm making black soup for a friend of mine. And uh, I want to carry you guys along, okay? So if you want to make black soup for yourself at home, you will know some things um, that you are supposed to be using. So my black soap comes in chunks, like big chunks, but I have to break them into um, bits, you see? I've been doing that for like um, 20 minutes now, so you see that it's all like powdery, okay? So when you buy black soap, they are usually in chunks, and you have to break them to this fine looking and then I like to buy the white one when I'm done it's going to be like chocolates although it would be that black black it's going to have a form of chocolate so today the ingredients that I'll be using I'll be using honey I'll be using coconut oil I'll be using um, a mixture of oil I have mixed the oil for quite a while, so I can't really remember all the oils that I need. But I mixed the oil, it's a mixture of oils. I'll be using turmeric powder. I'll be using citric acid. Um, naturally, black soap is alkaline. It's on the, on the, on the pH scale. It's on uh, nine. So it's not acidic, it's alkaline. And our skin is acidic. The, on the pH scale, our skin, our skin is 4.5 to 5.5. So, um, this is very alkaline. It's on 9. So, the, the citric acid I'm going to put in it is going to bring it down. If I can get it to neutral, like 7 on the pH scale, it would be um, far better than it being on 9. So that's why I'm putting citric acid. That's the job of the citric acid that I'll be putting. I'll be using sandalwood powder and I'll be using calm wood powder. All right, and I'll be using MSM. MSM is good for irritation. Uh, so my client has a very sensitive skin. Is a he? <laughs> he has a very sensitive skin. So I will be using MSM powder for irritation. Maybe gets irritated or something then I'll be using um, carrot puree you know using carrot puree um, so that is that I'll carry you guys along as I add the ingredients so in here um, I'm recording with my phone so it's kind of hard to record and at the same time measure so i just measure them here so i'm going to show you this is my citric acid it's water soluble this is my msm it's also water soluble this is my turmeric this is my calm wood and this is my sandalwood it's very sandalwood is very close to the color of the of the black soup what you will know okay so um those are the things that i will be using and they are all water soluble so um, my water base is going to be my um, my carrot puree. So I'm going to add my carrot puree to it, and then I'm going to mix it. Okay. When I have added my carrot puree to it and I've mixed it, then I'll add my honey. I might not be able to show you guys all of that, but that's what I will be doing. All right. So you guys should um, stay with me. find like a place to place the camera I hope you guys can see just bear with me please I'll just show you guys as it goes so this is the puree that we'll be using okay this is the current puree I'm going to add two of um, half a cup so that is going to be like a full cup okay I'm scooping it from my blender so I'm going to add two cups to this all right i might still have to add water because um, the the puree is is not very liquidy so i might have to add water 
so the next thing on the list is that um, I will be adding my oil okay so I've already mentioned the oil I'll be using so this, is oil. this is the mixed oil and I just place it down and then comes in my coconut oil okay so my coconut oil don't add so much oil so that your soap can lather well okay so I'm going to pour it in and then I'm going to mix if I need a little water I'm going to add water so basically this is all then I'm going to mix and mix until I get the paste that I want and then when I'm done I am going to leave it you know I'm going to leave it for like um maybe 12 hours so that it can absorb all the soap can absorb all the um, powders and the botanicals and all of it to be able to absorb it very well you know and that is that so that's basically um, wow the water is quite enough from the you see it's giving me the paste that i need so if you are working with this please wear your gloves you need to protect your hands okay so since it's mixing really nice you know all the powders are be infused into it and then you get your black soap so why i add oils to my black soap is that black soap can be very dry so you need oils you know, need the oils and the black soap to help it um moisturize the bit so that your body is not totally dried okay so that's why i add oils to it yes and i forgot almost forgot to add my honey so i will be opening my honey out i need to find a way of opening my honey but i'm going to add honey to this okay so the next thing i'm going to add is honey So, I'll be adding my honey, okay? So this is the honey that I'll be adding into the soap. And then, the soap is quite thick, too thick. So I'll add a little water, okay? I'm going to set it aside for it to rest a bit and then I will add oh, sorry I'm going to put in my containers so thank you guys we've come to the end of today's video if you like my video please give it a thumbs up share share with your friends and family and also like my video please if you are not subscribed please subscribe to my channel join the family and learn a lot of um, DIYs, do it yourself, you know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Hey.